The Curiosity rover mission is a huge rover that we sent to Mars in 2012. We sent it there to try to figure out whether or not Mars was ever habitable. So this is looking for environments that life as we understand it could exist. So it's not looking for life, but places where life could be. So we spent the last 10 years trying to answer this question. But all of the instruments on the Curiosity rover were designed to answer that fundamental question. Was Mars ever habitable? And specifically, are there any indications within Gale Crater that Mars was habitable at one time? And one of those instruments is called ChemCam. ChemCam is that instrument that sits at the very top of the mast. It's the big eyeball that's on the top of the mast through which we actually shoot a laser. And that allows us to probe samples and to take pictures of all of these samples that we've been analyzing on Mars. When I think back about the discoveries we've made over the past 10 years, there are several that really stand out. The first is our very first discovery, which was that there was hydrogen in the soil. So that tells us there's a lot of water, but it's bound up in the soil. And the next one is the discovery of manganese minerals on Mars. They tell us that not only was there a lot of water on Mars, but there were strongly oxidizing conditions. And just putting that into perspective, that would be like as if there was oxygen in the atmosphere. So we don't know whether or not that was true, but manganese opens up a lot of possibilities. Another discovery that was really exciting was that of boron. We measured boron in situ for the very first time on Mars. Now boron's exciting because it's one of these elements that's really used in uh, building the building blocks of life. So having it there just reaffirms to us that all the ingredients that life would have needed were, were there on Mars. And finally, as we've been going through this transitional period in an area called Glen Torridon, we've seen so-called diagenetic features. So these are things like veins and nodules that tell us that water was active in these sediments long after the lake was gone. So overall, this builds a picture to us of a, of a planet that's changing, but very habitable over long periods of time. You know, re really ChemCam has exceeded all of my expectations, and I think it has exceeded all of the team's expectations. We're doing so much more than ChemCam was originally designed to do. We are doing chemistry, but there's just so much more that we've learned as we've, as we've done this mission than I ever expected to experience. Moving forward, I think we have so many more discoveries yet to be made. We're moving out of the lake sediments and up into dry land. And so we're in this transitional period that can really tell us a lot about you know, how this lake evolved over time and what land was like. And so again, tells us a lot more about the history of water and habitability on Mars. And I can't wait to see what else we're gonna find out.